Good day Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is your quarterly reading for summer of 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Dogs are going crazy downstairs. My God. All right. Ace of Clubs. We need to take action. King of Diamonds. Lord of Value. Uh, Queen of Spades. A warning. And... Oh, five of diamonds. Okay, so your general energy uh, for this week is the five of, or for this quarter is the five of diamonds. Financial loss. So there will be some financial loss uh, this quarter. Uh, throughout all three months, there's going to be financial loss. And yeah, it's going to be a struggle. And I mean... For a whole quarter, that's that's a big struggle, um, but you will it will be temporary. You will recover all loss. Uh, you just might not recover it until next quarter, uh, so it will be a struggle. But don't don't overstress yourself about it, man. Just kind of you know realize that things happen. We all we all go through financial loss, and sometimes it's it's big loss. Uh, but the universe somehow manages to make everything work out, you know, and it will work out. Uh, it will pan itself out, but yeah, it's going to be uh, uh, quite a quite a struggle. I mean, three months of financial loss is a pretty big struggle. But let's take a look at what the rest of the cards say here, right? So the beginning of the quarter, you have the Ace of Clubs that would be here during july you know you know and bleeding into august uh you need to take action uh, in business and in love or business or love or both um uh if you have a business ideal or something that you want to do or you have a love interest or something uh, you need to take the action on those things because the business ain't going to get itself going itself, right? And whoever your love interest is, if, if there's a love interest, uh, they're not going to take action. So you have to stop uh, sitting in the boat, not paddling, and start paddling and take action and uh, put your business ideas out there and, and go for those business ideas and go for that love if there is somebody uh and it'll all be positive it's all going to be good it's going to be a positive change it, it will all work out very well so um in the middle of the quarter you know uh, august time uh you got the king of diamonds lord of value so uh and i kind of feel like this is you a self-made business person but it can be somebody else that's the self-made business person and but and through both of yours hard work there's going to be success so there will be success there will be some kind of financial success maybe it just doesn't happen right now maybe it just uh maybe you don't get the profits or something until the next quarter you know um and maybe you have to put money in that might be part of the pr pr uh, financial loss it might be you putting money into this business or something and and that's why you're having financial loss uh, so, uh, that, that very well could be it. And then you're not going to see like a profit or anything until, uh, next quarter. So you're going to be going through that struggle. Uh, but the cards say, you know, if you have some kind of self-made business that you're wanting to do, uh, take action on it, whatever action it is that you're wanting to take, take it because it will be positive, even though you may go through financial loss during it, right? Uh, but 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 you will profit from it uh, when this quarter passes and ends. Now you got to be careful though. Uh, here at the end of the quarter, uh, sometime around September or whatnot, 
you have the Queen of Spades, a warning. There's an instigator. Somebody is resentful of you, most likely of this business uh, that you're you're going into, and they want to put a monkey wrench in those plans. Now they can very well uh, work on the struggle and be like, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't get into this business because, you know, you're going to lose money, which you will. You'll lose money most likely. Uh, but the thing is that it's going to, it's going to pay out. I feel, I feel it's going to pay out because you do have success here as long as you put the hard work in. So I do feel like it's going to pay out, but just not until, uh, the next quarter. But this person, this instigator, they're going to use it, uh, against you to try to stop you from, from doing, you know, uh, from doing this, from making this choice. Um, but what you want to do is when you figure out who this instigator is, which will be easy, they're going to, they're going to try to tell you, uh, not to do this business idea because that's what this is. It's a business idea. You got some kind of business idea going on or some way to make money or something, uh, that most likely is going to cost money in order to do, uh, and they're going to use that on you. And when you figure out who that is, uh, you need to know all the facts about the person, why they're doing this, all that good stuff. I don't picture this being a, a younger person, a younger adult or anything like that, but it can be a younger person. So it could be like, you know, uh, a son, a daughter, a uh, niece, nephew, somebody that you're uh, like you take care of or something and they feel like if you do this because you know a self-made business that's going to take some time away from uh, your loved ones you know because you're going to have to work hard to uh, make it a success and sometimes young people they can become instigators and become very resentful and and try to screw you up if, if they feel like they are being um, challenged by something you know for your your love and attention uh, but if not, if it ain't that, then it's just somebody who just doesn't, who sees that it is a good idea, but doesn't want you to do it because you'll rise above them or whatever. So, but make sure you know all the facts when you figure out who this instigator is. Uh, that way you go in with full ammunition and, you know, they can't trip you up, uh, on, on your thought process of how to handle the, them. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Oh, okay. Okay. So you got the... Um you got the Eight of Swords. In the Eight of Swords, this woman's bound, right? But she's also blindfolded. So she can't see that there's swords all around her where she could cut herself free. And um, I feel like you're going to feel bound by the struggle, by the financial loss. And you have the ability to not stress out about it. You know, I know how hard that's going to be. And I understand that. But you do have the control over your emotions to not let this, you know, bleed out into your life, you know, bleed out onto your family, uh, that, that there's a financial loss happening, right? Especially if that financial loss is you putting money into a business, because then you kind of put yourself in the binds. Uh, but the cards are saying to do it, you know, because it's going to pay out. And of course, of course, this is all just... Uh, advice, you don't have to take action, you don't have to start a business or get into a business with somebody and work hard at it, you don't have to do any of that, uh, which could maybe stop uh, the financial loss, right, um, but if you do, if you do take action, yes, it might bind you up because of the financial loss, uh, but you do have the power to control your emotions and not let it stress you completely out. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. I hope this resonates. It's not too bad. I mean, the financial loss, yeah, it's going to be a struggle, but I feel like there's something really good coming in here uh, for you with this business, whatever this may be, this this way of making a financial 
making financial abundance. Uh, and some of you it could be love, but I just, I don't see it. I don't see it on here uh, very much, so I don't feel like many of you, the action is love. I, I feel like it's some kind of business, and this person does not want you to do it. And they're going to try to bind you up, too. You know, they're going to try to make you worry more about the financial loss. And, uh, again, you have the ability, the swords around you, to cut those binds from that person uh, throwing a monkey wrench in your plans uh, by knowing the facts and uh, presenting the facts to them and shutting them down. So there you go. I hope this resonates, and I hope it helps. And if it does, hit that like button, and if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next quarter. And until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.